Using just two words, as Lindsay said, many across the nation are speaking out about sexual harassment and assault. You may have seen posts on Facebook the words Me Too. 10 News reporter Patricia Martellotti gives us a closer look at this movement. My great grandmother, we fought this issue many years ago. It's a rallying cry that's being flooded on social media. Well, there have been a lot of stories in the media lately. It's powerful men who have abused that power. Me Too movement started in response to the Harvey Weinstein scandal when several women accused him of sexual misconduct. Committing sexual violence, sexual assault, sexual harassment. And I think our culture, our community, is getting tired of it. The Sexual Assault Response and Awareness Crisis Center, which provides counseling for survivors, has become increasingly busy. In the past several months, calls are up by about 15 percent. In part because of increased awareness of, of the services that we provide, but also we've changed the way we do our hotline. We now answer our hotline directly. So when an individual calls our crisis number, they are getting a trained crisis advocate, be it staff or volunteer. Barry says those who are not participating in the Me Too movement do not owe anyone their story. But it's also just as important to confront the issue and bring awareness to the issue and try to solve it. Barry says in most cases, as in the Weinstein accusations, the victim and the offender know each other. When they think of sexual assault or rape, they think that it's a stranger, stranger hiding in the bushes. When 90 to 95 percent of the time, the victim and the offender, they know each other. Whether or not victims participate in the Me Too movement, Barry wants all survivors to know they're not alone. In Roanoke, Patricia Martellotti, 10 News, working for you.